structure a winning statement of purpose. The statement of purpose, if required, provides you with the opportunity to share with the admissions team insight into who you are as a person and demonstrate that your skills and qualities strongly align with the vision and philosophy of their particular institution. It provides a comprehensive overview of who you are as a person and your accomplishments. Look at the website of your target universities. Some may state the characteristics, skills or qualities that are important to them. Make sure you incorporate them into your personal statement. Do not plagiarize. Use your own language and do not lift content from existing published materials. If you take content material from existing content, it needs to be in quotation marks and paraphrase content needs to be cited. Most importantly, you should sound your age throughout the personal statement. It should read with the tone and voice that is expected and the level of maturity for a person who is your age. The tone and voice should be yours. Let me now walk you through an effective outline of a personal statement or statement of purpose. First of all, there's an introduction. Before writing your statement, prepare a document outlining the basic idea for your statement. Think about the overall message you want to convey to the reader before you begin writing. The introduction should hook the reader, meaning grab his attention. Make it interesting, punchy, and different. Secondly, there should be a body. Each paragraph should deal with one central idea. Several ideas in one paragraph will make the essay look messy. If the paragraph topic has several subpoints, segregate them into different paragraphs. Every statement must be supported by examples. This strengthens the essay and makes it real. Instead of making a list of statements, sharing how you did, what you did, and why is, is significant, strengthens the essay because you're demonstrating to instead of telling the admissions committee your experience and insights. Structure the sequence of ideas both carefully and logically. There should be no loss of flow and abruptness to the essay. Connecting sentences should be used between every paragraph. Finally, there is a conclusion. Restate your commitment and enthusiasm and the main points that support it. A few points to remember. Delete sentences that are not absolutely necessary. Every sentence should be important and clearly structured and stated. Project self-confidence and frame everything positively. Use phrases such as actively, participated in, rather than was a member of. Stay within the stipulated character and line limit. Remember, this could include spaces and blank lines. Check your work. Make sure that your grammar, spelling, and punctuation is perfect. Carefully proofread your personal statement and get a fresh pair of eyes to edit it by either a family member or friend. Print your essay as this will help you catch errors that you may not have been able to if you were reading or on a computer screen. Reading out loud also helps. You will catch any spelling and punctuation errors by hearing what you're trying to say, and as a result, you will improve the sentence flow and tone of the essay. If written correctly, the statement should show that you're a goal-oriented, able to learn something impactful from each experience, can even identify what you want, and have taken the right steps towards obtaining those goals. So I hope this video gives you good insight in, into how to structure a winning statement of purpose. Thank you.